like, bro. She got, she got a kid. Look at his back. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah. I just don't, I don't mess with no animal. I don't mess with the ocean. Yeah, there's no reason for me to swim there. There's just too much going on. And for me, I feel like when I'm at the beach, I'm going to walk off so far, like I'm going to hit one of them cliffs, and I'm just going to go, it's going to be like them, yeah. one of them deep canyons. I'm cool, man. Step on the reef. And last time I went to the, the beach, I'm telling you, in the wave, I seen a jellyfish. Like a silhouette of a jellyfish. And after that, I was just like, yeah, I'm getting out of the water. Because I was already way too deep. <laughs> In the like, I was like, it was damn near like up to like right here, and that's that not, not water strong, like that shit, like it, like you get hit, and that shit salty as hell. I was already out way too deep. That was just like, yeah, I need to go back. Let me go back, cause nigga, I'm I'm way I'm way on my own. My name, my, my ass has to be on land. Black people, it'd be over. It'd be over. That shit was ridiculous, bro. It'd be over if you go too far. That's too over. Oh, Don't on that on that water. You don't know what the fuck is in there. No, just, just just imagine being an Allegheny, them big ass catfish and shit, the size of you. No, <laughs> I'm cool, man. But hey, man, yeah, it's crazy. Casual Geographic, you change your name. I like her nature, but maybe that's not as marketable. You know, you teach your kids now, so you got to be a little bit softer. But yeah, uh, he got good content. You know, make sure you subscribe to him. Make sure you subscribe to us. Just to road to 10k subscribers. Really appreciate all the support. We're gonna hop right into the video. What's the name? His name's Casual Geographic now. Yeah. Oh, you know it gets worse. Dolphins will also divorce a fish's head from its body and then use the disembodied fish head as a fish life. There's videos. I'm not gonna show you, but they're there. Dolphins That's can catch right? feelings for humans to the point where they get jealous. In 1994, a man got vibe checked so badly by a dolphin that he ended up dying of internal hemorrhaging. The reason? The dolphin saw him around some women that he liked and felt some type of way. The man broke his heart, so the dolphin broke his ribs and then punctured his lung for good measure. In 1965, Margaret Lowe was part of an experiment where we tried to teach dolphins English, and to get her dolphin to focus, she would, uh, she, uh, the dolphin didn't apply, but he got a job. The experiment was cut short because it turns out unless it's shooting oil, playing tug of war with a dolphin's baby leg in a government-funded experiment is a terrible career move. After that, the dolphin got depressed and unsubscribed from life. Yes, capital S with a side at the end. Workers at a Florida research center that. smiled as they watched a bunch of dolphins play volleyball and then stopped smiling when they realized they were just smacking around a baby shark dolphins to the point where they had to go in and rescue it. Yeah. Male dolphins will form gangs, kidnap a female, <laughs> and hold her hostage and then proceed to run through her like a track meet in violent choo-choo parties that can last weeks. And these water wines, these will tail smack her to keep her in line. If she tries Can't to escape, they'll just chase dolphins? her down. Dolphins only exist to serve the will of Satan. They say what you will about sharks, <laughs> but Jaws would never. Okay, so I wasn't going to talk oh, about this, but Hank brought it up, so... I'm not responsible. I the children, this is the only warning you finna get. Okay, so I'm pretty sure the blowhole thing he's talking about is this godforsaken what the f right here. Oh, the fun fact here is that Amazon dolphins are believed to have, uh, I'm gonna call it bowling. These dolphins are believed to participate in gay bowling matches, but instead of a lane, it goes down their blowhole. Now, in case you're confused about how dolphins, you know, dolphin, they kind of need that to breathe. So this is basically yeah. like taking one up the nostril and then feeling it in your lungs like Cali Green. And considering dolphins use live eels and decapitated fish heads as toys, I had no problem believing this. However, I was researching this because that's what my life has become, and I read that, that a dolphin research associate has said that he had what never seen a dolphin smile in another's blowhole like this. Also, right fun fact, dolphins can't breathe through their mouth the way we can. So doing it at the blowhole would be like you holding your breath the next time you go bowling. Especially if since water starts rushing in, the dolphin could end up drowning. But yeah, I don't know if this is true. But my theory is that it doesn't happen often at all, but once in a while a dolphin will go bowling down the wrong lane. Also, since male dolphins will violate each other to assert dominance, I can promise you that whatever the hell this is, consent was sold separately. Also, if this has only ever happened once, it's already happened yeah, to people do that Moral too, of this so. video, there is no safe way to explain my It's situation. almost like you're human. Here's something about Spongebob you probably didn't know. <laughs> you know how they live underwater, yet there's a whole beach for no reason? We were all like, how is there water underwater? Well, there's really? actually such a thing as underwater lakes and rivers. In places like the Gulf of Mexico, seawater will often rise through a thick layer of salt that you'll often find at the seafloor. The rising water dissolves the salt layer, causing it to collapse all while forming a depression. And of course, the dissolved salt makes the water in the depression denser than the seawater surrounding it, which is how you can end up with a river or a lake in the ocean. Some of these underwater rivers can actually be a few miles long. 
and underwater rivers, which are really just a mixture of salt water and hydrogen sulfide, behave and flow as normal rivers. Now here's where I you up. These underwater brine pools are three to eight times saltier than the seawater around it, which is why animals like this eel that get too close can end up getting toxic shock while getting trapped inside. So in a weird way, it's actually possible for underwater animals to drown inside these brine pools. This eel got lucky, but normally most animals that mess around and get that close don't come out alive. Moral of this video, Hillensburg was a f***ing genius. And just because of this comment, I'm finna f*** y'all up. First of all, this is a giant Pacific octopus, and yes, they can weigh up to 600 octopus, pounds. Octopus, man. That's more than two washing machines and heavy enough to get a show on TLC. Also, octopus have no bones at all, and they don't have any air bladders or gas pockets, which is how they can survive being at the bottom of the ocean without the water pressure turning them into a chocolate. No bones pocket. at all. If you try to live with an octopus, you'd become an instapack because your lungs would fill with blood and collapse as your body literally folds on itself. And fun fact, actually, my I don't think octopus are related to almost no other species on the planet. No, seriously, look. An octopus that weighs the same as two shacks can fit under your door and crawl into your room. Since they don't have bones or bladders to hold them back, a several hundred pound octopus could fit through a passageway not that much bigger than a quarter. Now obviously not all octopus tip the scales at 600 pounds, but all octopus can fit through things that your mental health probably isn't prepared for. That's wild. That and the fact that octopus are probably the smartest things in the world that don't have a spine is how octopus can escape anything that wasn't built with them in mind. It's how Inky the octopus escaped an aquarium and it was never heard from again. It's also how this video exists, and you're welcome to invest. I'm going to have to boat. I've seen every day before. TikTok and everyone expects me to address it. I mean, your face isn't in it, so just say you're hack. What? No, 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 not that video. Oh! Not like the weird ass ocean demon thing. People want to know what it is, and I am not strong enough to handle it alone. I mean, it's definitely some sort of primate with the four facing eyes like that. I can see how people think it's a weird human demon thing because it doesn't have any fur. See, now that's what I thought. I figured with the skull structure and the canine teeth, whatever it is, or Oh, I haven't noticed. Probably I thought it was like a fucking seal. Like. Kind of like us. And you said it was found on the coast of Panama, right? Yeah, it was in like Playa Vidal in Panama. Also, it had these long, lanky arms that were like almost too long for itself. Like, like it's having probably a fucking human experiment. Like I mean, it's hard to tell because it's so washed up. Just, okay, primate on the coast of Panama and super long legs. Hmm. Okay, hear me out. It's gotta be like a spider monkey or something, right? I mean, that only makes sense. Or maybe a howler monkey, and it's super bloated, so it probably got cocky, went in the water, and drowned. It'd be like that. Now it's the second ugliest thing in the ocean. It could What's be. the first? It could have just had like a disease or some shit. It's I'm gonna let that one slide. Peace out. I Drowned in the ocean. Wait, what video did you think I was talking about? There are some things you've probably never seen before. This isn't Photoshop. This is an actual pink manta ray. It was recorded swimming in the Great Barrier Reef off the coast of Queensland, Australia. And apparently this pink UFO is the only known one in the entire world. And we don't really know why this thing exists. Like some believe it gets its color from its diet the same way flamingos do. But if that were true, then you'd wonder why we haven't found more of them. But there's two versions, like there's a stingray and there's like the giant manta ray. I think the stingray is the one that is the one that killed that Australian dude. Which one? The uh the crocodile hunter. Steven Irwin. Steven Irwin, yeah. He was the one? And he's the one to get killed by that stingray in Australia. Australia. I don't know how anyone lives there. Fucking Spiders just size of size of pugs. I don't know how people like even look for stuff like that. Spiders the size of pugs. Like I, I remember I stumbled across like these videos where this dude was getting like stung by like the the world's worst stings and like the uh, the, the the most painful stings in the world. Yeah. I'm like, how can you do pain that? tolerance index? Like what the hell? I don't know. Niggas be going out their way to like get hurt. Like bullet ants and. Some like black. Yeah, it's just small animals, man. That's what I mean that's small animal. It's just small insects. Those shits cause major pain. That's why I just don't go in the ocean. It's just not it's just not my element. Like I said. You're gonna find some worse stuff. I don't know. Would you go scuba down no. in a control setting with but uh with uh professionals? You wanna go scuba down? I go scuba down. Why not? But I keep seeing these videos. Don't go scuba diving with, uh, with sharks. Look, I'd rather go scuba diving than hiking in the woods. Because apparently. apparently when you hike in the woods, you're more likely to get fucking moss somewhere and die and get fucking kidnapped and raped by big <laughs> Sasquatch. Best guess is that it's caused by a mutation that affects pigments. 
us some things in Australia just don't need an explanation because being in Australia is the explanation. A yellow penguin. This is a king penguin, and just for reference, that is what they're supposed to look like. But it's believed that this blonde bird is leucistic, After and loose doesn't mean this penguin doesn't have the melanin needed to grow black feathers. And in a colony of more than 100,000 other penguins, this was the only blonde. And normally standing out that much is a great way to end the day as a seal's chew toy. That being said, she <laughs> seems to be doing alright for herself. A completely white moose. This bull moose went viral in Sweden for being whiter than a Brady Bunch, and like the penguin, this Caucasian tank is leucistic, not albino. A big difference is an albino would have pink eyes, but this moose has brown. And normally wearing white in the woods is like wearing a target on your back while walking through a shooting range. In a lot of places, the white moose are protected by law. The MOCs, they can go that's themselves. Crazy, Fun fact, in Canada, moves. it's illegal to take the life of a moose that's more than 50% white like in color. color. You can be 7 feet tall with antlers and body odor and still have white privilege. Now, ain't that's ridiculous. Hey, man. Yeah, damn, Caleb Geographics. Good nature. Whatever, whichever one you decide, I seen a little poll you did. You know, you're trying to figure out the name, but whatever, whatever one you decide, keep dropping the good content, man. Let us know if you want to see us reacting more. Put them down in uh, the comments. You know, eventually, LBB will like to get out in nature and be able to do our own type of, you know, nature videos and stuff. At least me, because I want to travel and stuff, go out, go to different countries and shit. You know, go to places like Vietnam, go down to South America. You know, just jungle just jungle and shit out there. I'm not going nothing too crazy. I'm gonna stay within the the, the actual tourist sites. Like a nigga come off like, hey bro, we go this way, you can see some real crazy. I'm like, I'm not going off that way. <laughs> is it on the map? Is it on the GPS, nigga? Can you, Google? See, you see like a little house up there? If Google can't find me, I'm not going. You see a little house up there with talismans and stuff? Yeah, fuck that. I'm cool. I'm not getting I'm not, cursed. I'm, it's not happening to me. You're not gonna see me on one of these YouTube videos in twenty years. <laughs> Keyshawn was walking through the jungle and no, it doesn't happen. Stumbled upon a temple. No, it doesn't happen. Hit the like button, subscribe, and share. It's a road to 10k subscribers. We'll see you next time. I'll be peace. peace.